So I'm really excited about this year's uh, DDCEP 9. It's been a labor of love for myself and my co-editors and, and the dozens of national experts that have contributed to this year's edition. Um, we've got chapter writers, we've got question writers, we've got content experts who've created what I think is really the leading educational tool for gastroenterologists and hepatologists around the country and around the world. Um, every year we, when we create a new edition of DDCEP, we recognize that there are going to be many changes in clinical practice that have taken place. And this year's edition, again, really incorporates all the things that have happened in inflammatory bowel disease and irritable bowel syndrome and in liver disease over the course of the last two years since DDCEPT-8 came out. Um, those new th innovations that have happened in gastroenterology and hepatology are also incorporated into the questions. So those individuals that use DDCEP-9 not only have the content that they can review, but also have the opportunity to um, engage in learning um, and introspection, utilizing well over 800 questions. Each question actually picks on a specific topic that's pertinent to the practice of gastroenterology and hepatology, but then also comes with an annotated bibliography so that the individual who looks at that question and wants to learn more has easy access to where the primary data is that drives the correct answer in practice, but also importantly, the correct answer on maintenance of certification or initial certification examinations. As I said, we brought together several dozen experts from around the world to help us create this over the course of the last year. And we're very excited that now individuals can actually purchase DDCEP-9 utilizing either the traditional format, the format we've had for the last 20 years, where we have the printed syllabus and the printed questions, which many of us are used to using. I'll say that I've certainly used DDCEP every year I've had to do my board recertification. It's been the central focus of my uh, review as I prepare for that examination. But in addition now, there's a, a completely electronic platform. It's in, uh, at the AGA University, and individuals can actually take the content in DDCEP-9 now and use it in different ways electronically. So they can actually create special review modules. Say, for example, I felt I needed to learn more about liver disease. I could actually just bring up the liver chapters and the liver questions and work on those. I can also create examinations that pull together questions from all the different disciplines or selected disciplines to allow me again to test myself and my knowledge as for example I might be preparing for my board certification or my maintenance of certification examinations. If you want to learn more about DDCEP9 it's very easy to access online at DDCEP, that's ddsep.gastro.org.